Well, hello everyone, and this is Ryan that I have to... I don't know what that intro was supposed to be, but... Anyway, um, today, I have a bit of a setup to offer you guys. And yeah, I'm using my phone instead of my GoPro, because... Um, honestly, just using the aspect ratio and the GoPro is a little bit wonky, so... Anyway, yeah, I haven't done a setup video ever, so I decided you wanna screw it, even though a lot of the stuff is, like, due to change. I just thought, why not just make one? And yeah, if I'm a bit like out of wind and in general just <laughs> sound tired and uninterested just because I have a bit of a light fever but I'm fine, you know, I just wanted to make a video because there's been a lot of support on the channel and honestly, I thought, you know what, a setup door is a good way to give back and in general, it's a good way to kind of mark progress in my opinion, but that's beyond the point. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys are curious as to what I use anyway. Uh, yeah, let's begin with the case because I had recorded this before but I spent way too much time fooling around. So yeah, the case is a Gigabyte Aorus AC300W. Um, it's all powered by a, uh, you know, check it out over here, uh, a Corsair CX650M uh, power supply, pretty powerful little thing. And the storage is a Intel Skull Canyon SSD, which again, can't show you because it's like behind over there, and also yes. Um, this <laughs> acrylic panel isn't actually part, obviously, of the case. It is my own little contraption because um, it is a story for another video, but basically, long story short, pissed off someone, someone came and broke my panel, <laughs> which, you know, it, it sucks, but I don't really care, honestly. But yeah, um, so moving on with some of the more colory bits, uh, here we have some RGB RAM. I don't exactly know which like the name, but it is a Corsair RGB RAM, pretty cheap, it was around 9000 for both of them. If I just, like, you know, cut down 1000, I would have got regular RAM, so really, the price difference isn't crazy, and if you live in Bangalore and you want computer parts for cheap, you should buy from SP Road, because that's pretty much everything in this case, except for the processor, is from SP Road, and I will also talk about in another video about why you probably shouldn't buy computer parts from, like, Amazon or any online sellers. In general, it's just not safe. Anyway, uh, the next little bit more colory bit is that Corsair water cooler. Expensive little thing, honestly. Compared to my old water cooler, which looked a lot more beastly, this thing looks not so imposing, but it is a 360mm rad. Yes, a bit overkill, considering what it's uh, cooling is a Ryzen 2600. So, yeah, um, the reason why I went with a 2600 and not like a, 27, a 2700X is one, already this year, you know, obviously new Ryzen processors, and secondly, you know, my old processor was dying, and I needed to, like, it was an it was a Intel um, i7 4770K, so pretty much I had to change everything, I had to get new RAM, I had to get a new motherboard, so, yeah, <laughs> I needed to cut down costs somewhere, and speaking of um, motherboard, I'm using a uh, MSI Gaming Plus B450M. It's a pretty nice little board. Uh, I will say that the BIOS is a little wonk, but for the board, like the VRMs are great, and just uh, overclocking this thing is a breeze. So, you know what? I like the board. It's not super expensive, but again, with AMD stuff in general, isn't that expensive. Now, this graphic card you're probably staring at, wondering what not this thing is. Now, this is a Sapphire Nitro. Uh, RX 580 overclock edition and the thing is the overclock edition is important because you technically This isn't being sold like online. You can buy these locally again in SP Road like in Basically off-market because if you look online these again technically don't exist, but you know here, Here's my uh, Version which technically doesn't exist and speaking of something that doesn't exist that keyboard there Which we will come to also shouldn't exist. So yeah Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it about the case. It's a pretty neat little thing. I am using like a simple RGB strip to just give it like this kind of drop lighting and it goes pretty well with everything. And I really like this hot pink aesthetic. Now, moving on to this side, let's start with audio. And here's my most important overclocking tool or just my most important thing, a goddamn AC remote. And yeah, Lord Jeffrey is watching all over us. Look at him, absolutely beautiful. How you doing, Jeffrey? Fuck me, I shouldn't record videos and have a damn fever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I have two monitors. You might be wondering why the hell do I have two monitors? Well, even though I don't do any real uploads on YouTube, I actually do quite a lot of um, like audio and video work for this um, little media company, which um, mostly what we do is just give samples and just do simple sound tracking and just do simple video, just video work for local films. 
Um, and it, it's, it's fine. I mean, you don't really get paid much, but it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I learned a lot of things, man. Some guys uh, who, you know, taught me a lot of things about just audio and all that. And yeah, speaking of audio, if you guys remember the previous video, audio wasn't great. That's an example of what poor mixing can do to anything. And yeah, like working with that, uh, like songs, audio was terrible. But it's fine. It's an old uh, artist. And like his song, when that was his first album, so that's why it didn't sound that great. But I just wanted to test the waters. Anyway, I'm rambling, so moving on, speaking of audio, everything, as in all my audio, meaning my headphones, my mic, and my guitars, all plug into this, which is a Vault AI-22, and for mics, right now, I'm using this right uh, WI-800, and before you fucking perverts think this is anything otherwise, this is goddamn hand sanitizer, alright, I don't keep lotion in here, that's special occasions only, <laughs> um, yeah, so, I do have another mic which I use for other things, um, it's a Behringer XM800, you should see a picture on it on screen. It's in that box, but I don't want to pick it up, so <laughs> I'm too lazy. So yeah, uh, other audio, well, I'm currently using this AKG K52 for just all my audio requirement, as in just for this everything, because it's just so comfortable, but when I'm listening to, let's just say, a new album or just working on far more intensive audio stuff, I do use my Audio Technica M20Xs, they're pretty nice. Um, though I will say they are a bit tight on the head. Now, these two monitors are pretty much exactly the same. Um, you see, this first one is... Actually, wait, they are exactly the same. Why am I saying first one? Literally, the only difference is this one is 27 inches, this one is 24 inches. So, basically, um, the thing is, this one is... Actually, no, both of them are 144 hertz. 1 millisecond response time and have AMD FreeSync. So, yay, that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, like literally, these two are exactly the same. Matter of fact, like that model number, I bet if I go look it up, like if in the video, you should probably see it or in the description, it should be the exact same, except that should say 27 instead of 24. So, yeah, this is 27 inch, 24 inch, exact same thing, except this is bigger, this is smaller, blah blah blah. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Keyboard, uh, it's a Hermes E1 mechanical keyboard using uh, Cherry MX Blues. I shouldn't be picking it off like that, but I don't care. Yes, these are ledger Cherry MX Blues, but the confusing bit is when you look online, this keyboard nowhere is it listed anywhere as being a Cherry MX Blue uh, supporting keyboard, and you'd be correct, but these are ledger Cherry MX Blues because I have owned this specific keyboard, the regular one, and that. Uh, the one using just the Game Gear switches, and that stopped working with a month, within a month, and I bought this this specific keyboard off of someone else who, um, you know, it was a little weird that this thing, like everything looks like a regular Game Gear's keyboard, but no, actually I was able to confirm with a sort of little mechanical keyboard nerd, and yeah, he genuinely said that these are actual legit uh, Cherry MX Blue switches. So. Yeah, uh, that's pretty neat. And for the mouse, I'm using a Logitech G402. Um, pretty neat little mouse. I had a, uh, sorry, not G4, is it? G403. Seriously, it's so confusing, but they both are completely different mice. I like this mouse because it's just simple as hell. Is it G403? Yes, it is. I mean, it is RGB, and this is the only RGB component that is like all like flashy and shit, but yeah. Um, I like it. It's simple, the sensor is great, and yeah, that's about it. Now, things that are probably gonna be changing is obviously I'm gonna probably get the newest like Ryzen processor when it comes out, which can support this board, and probably I'm not gonna get like another like upgrade of this graph card. Instead, I may just get like another RX 580 and just run it in Crossfire. This monitor is gonna be out of here because one it doesn't go with the aesthetic it's even smaller and you can see dead pixels so yeah i mean unfortunately i think it just got damaged when we were moving so rip. and yeah that's about it oh and also a marshall amp the only reason why that's there is because i just need like some speaker like i do have studio monitors but i can't set them up anywhere over here because i'm i'm not allowed to drill into the walls and plus like stands are annoying to get so Right now, for temporary use, I'm using this Marshall amp, which is super expensive for what it is, and I'm just using it as a basic speaker, so, uh, <laughs> best logic right there. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's about it. I mean, I don't really think I can do a room tour, because there's still, yeah, you can see wires and shit, and even the wall over there isn't even finished painting, and there's still supposed to be a wallpaper, but, eh, who cares. Anyway, yeah, 
that's my setup. That's what I'm working at right now. And uh, yeah, that's uh, me, you know. And well, I'm pretty proud of it. It took probably like a good year to do all of this, but I'm happy with it. And probably I may do have to do like a guitar setup video too, because I've I don't know. <laughs> I have like four of them right now. But I'm still kind of waiting on getting two more, and then probably then I'll do it. So, uh, yeah, look out for that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, hopefully I don't disappear for another like two, three months. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see all you guys later. Peace.